All right, so today's our first day of uh, e-commerce with WordPress, part one. And so what we need to do is get, to sp get up to speed with WordPress. But let me show you the end result of what we could have by the conclusion of these two classes, part one and part two. As I said, I, in addition to teaching, I'm also part of a company where we do websites, where we do social media, where we do photography, etc., etc. So I'll show you here an example of a real client that we have that is one of our most full-featured clients. Uh, we have done for them their website and their social media and photography and human resources and all of that. This is one of the ones that has the most that we do for them. And so you may or may not have heard of them. If you've never heard of them, they're probably going to, it's probably going to be a complicated name. The website is aquiestexcoco.com. You can do this if you'd like. You can open your web browser also and take a look at this. Open up any of your favorite web browsers. We've got them all. Go to a q u i e s t e x c o c o akiestexcoco.com. This is a website that we built for them in WordPress. The website has original photography, which we did for them. It has blogs, which we write for them. It has um, social media, which we do for them. It has videos. Uh, and it has an e-commerce component. It sells stuff online. So if you check out the site, aquiestexcoco.com. This is a restaurant, Mexican food restaurant, that started in Tijuana in 1990. They came to the U.S. in about 2008, I think. We started to work with them in 2010. And then uh, in 2014, they expanded from San Diego to Los Angeles. They've been doing pretty well. They've also been featured on television. They've been on various cooking shows for the Travel Channel and Cooking Channel. They've gotten some pretty good fame. And so this is a WordPress site. Um, WordPress is very powerful software in that it can create just about any kind of website, beginning, intermediate, advanced, super advanced, basically. And on this particular site, you see a lot of the hallmarks of a modern website, photography that catches your attention, blogging, which is useful for SEO events, galleries and slideshows contact forms, and all of that. And you can do all of that with WordPress. So WordPress is software to make websites. And the great thing about WordPress, one of the great things, is its price. It's very affordable at zero dollars. WordPress doesn't cost anything. WordPress software doesn't cost anything. But it still costs money to have an online presence, which we'll get to in detail later. But to have your own little piece of the internet, to have your own .com, .net, .biz, .co, .us, whatever, to have your own website, that is a cost. And we can look in detail later how much it costs, but it's going to range between really, really, really cheap $20 a year to $120 a year. It's a big range. Uh, most of the sites that we set up are costing around $60 to $70 per year. That's how much the owner of the company pays to be online. That doesn't include any of our photography costs or social media costs or web design costs. It's just how much does it cost to be online, to have your own website. I'm going to say between 20 and 120. Realistically, 60 to 70 to 80 dollars per year, which is not a big investment because if you're selling products online, you'll probably make it up relatively quickly, hopefully. So this site, then, they have order online. And they're expanding their online ordering features right now. It's a bit more of a uh, order online for pickup. They don't deliver yet. That's coming very, very soon. But they've got more of a order online and pickup. So if you want to check this out, you can click on order online at the top right. And because they have two locations, it's first going to ask you, are you in Los Angeles or are you in San Diego? So if we're in <clears throat> San Diego, you click on that and it'll show you the menu. Tortilla soup, tacos, michotes, enfrijoladas, etc. 
let's say lunch is coming up and such. We want to get a, a class set of tortilla soup. So we have the option 10 ounces, 20 ounces. Let's say 10 ounces. Let's say there's 30 of us. So I want 30 of them. They're 385 each. Add to cart. Then I can continue to to shop or go to the cart. If I go to the cart, go to checkout, continue shopping. If I go to checkout, it's then going to go through the process of a, of a normal e-commerce site. Here's what you bought, make any updates, tax, total price. And because, like I said, this is more for pickup than actual delivery, here you specify when are you picking this up, any, any other options, meet options, and so forth your name, billing information, and so forth, and then it goes on to purchase. So this is as far as I'll go here, but is a fully functional, fully active site that, that uh, run, uh, gets some good revenue where they're selling food online. This uh, Everything that this site is, basically, will learn in this two-month class. If you've never used WordPress, you're going to be able to make great-looking websites like this. Uh, if you are more interested in the e-commerce, you'll be able to have a fully uh, set up and detailed uh, shopping cart and catalog online. We saw here we have photos of the products, of course. You can zoom in to see larger versions. We have these which are known as variations. 10 ounce, 20 ounce, soft taco, hard taco, quantities, combos. We can have coupons, all of that. Uh, your product may be more because they don't because this is food. It's perishable. It's not shipped. Uh, it's for pickup. But let's say you've got products you want to ship throughout the U.S. or the world. We'll be able to do that. Let's say you've got uh, services. Let's say you're selling your 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 you know your speeches you're selling you know um, what am I getting at you're selling um, you know lectures and so forth we can sell that uh, let's say you've got real or virtual goods virtual goods songs uh, videos ebooks so you'll be able to sell real or virtual products goods and services you'll be able to do um, charity and donation types of products. So it's very full-featured what we'll be able to accomplish in this class. Being able to sell just about anything um, at our own discretion. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up this client as the example of what we're working toward. I'll mention a couple of other ones here also. You can go look at Elena um, I'm suddenly blanking. Uh, no, Elsa. ElsaValencia.com. Uh, Elsa is an up and coming uh, jewelry designer. She makes her own uh, jewelry, gold jewelry, uh, in her studio and sells these one off pieces. She's also got a WordPress site, she's also got an e commerce component. Notice the design of the site is different, much more subdued. Still an emphasis on great photography. She's got a blog also, and then she's got the products. You can go to the shop. There's a wish list. Uh, my account for it to save your information for future purchases and such. There's the pieces, like the Francesca the Rattlesnake ring, 10 karat gold plated, or 10 karat, not plated, 10 karat gold, solid gold, with diamond eyes, so forth. The apple pendant, etc. So, same sort of thing, you could say add to cart. The design of it is a bit different than Texcoco, but still it's e-commerce, it's still WordPress, it's still what we're going to learn. Yes. Yes, definitely. Like, for example, the slider set they're using, 
You you have so many options with WordPress. Uh, you can do you can do many you can do the same thing many different ways. These uh, sliders off the top of my head I don't remember their names, but they're usually plugins. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk all about plugins, of course, and um, I can look up the exact ones that they use in case you're interested in it as well. Yes, I forgot to say if anyone has any questions during the lecture, uh, feel free feel free to ask. Um, so same sort of concept, here's my product, I want one, oh, let's get two. So I have two, proceed to checkout, and then it goes to the whole checkout system. Accepting credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, etc., PayPal, every, everything basically. These items are shipped throughout the U.S., so then, so then there's a shipping aspect of it all. And then the item is shipped off, and uh, and then you get it, and you're happy. Let me mention one more. Another client. Hopefully it comes up. We were having a little trouble on the server recently. Swapdots.com, S-W-O-P-D-O-T-Z, swapdots.com, different kind of product here another WordPress site. This is more about collectible buttons and wristbands. The concept is, this is for kids, uh, you buy these wristbands, specially designed, and then you put buttons on them and you collect them. They're like to customize and to trade with friends. They're also good for um, trade shows and such to have identification and all of that. So Swap Dot sells these uh, wristbands and such, and they also sell handmade yarn animals. So you can see in the shopping cart buttons, wristbands, mom's animals. So this is another e-commerce site, WordPress, different sort of design, same sort of concept. Let's say I like the uh, the the blue dragon. You know, I can get a, a quick preview of it, I can add it to my cart, I can zoom in to see the details. You can do that also here on, on um, Elsa's site, so you can really see the detail. So you can do this zoom in. Add to cart, share on social media, related products. So there's a lot to e-commerce. There's upselling and cross-selling. I'll we'll talk about these things in detail, but you've probably visited a website. You're looking at it right here. You're thinking of buying something. Why not also buy this? Or maybe you're about to buy something, but why not pay a little bit more for something better? That's cross-selling and upselling. We'll be able to do these things on our sites. So there's three examples of clients, different kinds of commerce sites. Those are the ones off the top of my head. So any questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We'll be able to recommend a similar product to people. Cross-selling or upselling is that we say with for a little bit more, you'll get something better. So these three examples are, about, are what we're going toward, what we'll be able to accomplish definitely by the end of the second month, because we need to have experience in WordPress, first of all, before we can add e-commerce. Now, often or always when I start a class, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I've sold you on what we're going to end up with, and everyone's excited, then I have to ask the class. Are you sure you want to sell products online? Serious question. Because, let's say the experience that we have in buying most products online. Let's say Amazon. Everyone's probably bought something from Amazon.com. It's been around 20 years, so someone's, everyone's here's probably bought something from Amazon. And um, the way Amazon works for us as the consumer, I visit Amazon, I find an item, I click Add to Cart, 
and I pay for it, and then I wait, and it shows up at my doorstep, and I'm happy. Well, now you are going to become Amazon. Because what Amazon does in between the purchase step and the receiving step is fulfillment. In the middle of all of that, um, I plugged in my credit card information to Amazon. So then some sort of payment processor checks that I have enough money, vouches that I have enough money, transfers that money from my bank to Amazon's bank. When that process is complete, then Amazon gets to go ahead, okay, get that product off of the, off of the shelf in the warehouse. So then a person or, or, or robot, probably a robot, gets it off the shelf, puts it on a conveyor belt, sends it to the shipping department, they wrap it up, they send it to the post office or FedEx or whatever, and then it travels cross-country perhaps to get to my local distributor, post office, and then the letter carrier goes out of the local distributor to my front door, gives me the product. So that's what we're going to need to be in charge of now. Keeping track of inventory, keeping track of sales tax and shipping, fulfillment, all of that stuff. So that's why I ask, are you sure you want to be the next Amazon? Because now you're going to need to do all of that. You're going to need to be also your own webmaster. If you're going to design your own website using WordPress, you need to know how WordPress works. And you need to know how it works when suddenly that link is broken. Or when this is not working, add to cart. So at Amazon, they have an army dealing with every aspect of the e-commerce experience. The site is down. Well, it's never down. But the site, let's say it's got a problem. Someone's working on it somewhere in the world at that moment. Again, you buy a product at midnight, and it gets shipped to you by 6 in the morning because they've got a huge warehouse with machines that get it off of that shelf and put it in the conveyor belt, and then they send it off to you at 6 in the morning. And uh, they're working on... Uh, those uh, those drones. We might have Amazon uh, drones at some point where a little a little craft flies directly to your house to give you your product. No more waiting for the post office. So the tax when you bought something in New York and you get taxed a certain amount and you buy something in California you get taxed another amount. We need to deal with that. Shipping, taxing, fulfillment, product inventory, all of that stuff. And not to scare you, but I'm trying to scare you. Because to be your own retailer online is complicated. Even in a two-month class, even in a three-month class, even in a six-month class, there's still always going to be something new or different or unique to you. So I will try my best to teach as generally as possible, and then of course during lab time and such talk about your individual needs. But that's why perhaps what we're going to learn in this class will be perfect for 95% of you. And those 5% say, this is not what I need. Well, I apologize. There's so much to teach or to learn that we can't cover everything. But during lab time, hopefully, I can help you as best as possible. And so here are three examples. You know, one person working in her studio making jewelry. One person and her mom making these animals and wristbands. This one is a, a, a big entrepreneur, not big, but he's a small business. He's, he's got a partner and such, but, you know, another small company. And so everyone can do it. If you're an author and you're going to be selling your ebooks, you can do it. If you're going to be selling your own handmade stuff, you can do it. If you've got your own small company of three people, you can do it. But the thing is that this is a full-time job. Uh, my company we're in charge of all of this. We need to get this to work when this breaks at midnight. We have this contract that on a regular basis we're updating the software. We're making sure the database works and all of that stuff. We're not in charge of cooking any of this, but we're in charge of it all working. We're in charge of the social media. We've got a, a Facebook and an Instagram account here for advertising. Well, we need to promote these products so that they can get sold. Um, there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle of being an online retailer. And we're not really going to have a chance very much to talk about blogging or social media or SEO, but I teach those classes. I teach an, a class, a month-long class, on each of those topics. Some of them are part one and part two. So it's a big puzzle, but the great thing is that it can be attainable and it can be, uh, it can be pretty inexpensive to do it all. 
So after we learn some stuff and you say, well, it kind of seems complicated and I don't want to hire someone to do it, I'll just sell through Amazon or eBay or Etsy and so forth. That's another viable avenue, going on some of these sort of prepackaged websites. How many of you heard of, have heard of Etsy before? Okay, so uh, what about eBay? Anyone heard of eBay? Craigslist, Amazon. There's lots of places where you can let them deal with the server and the plugins and the shopping cart inventory and all of that. There's plenty of them that will do it for you. Not for free. They're going to take a cut. I don't know the costs, but even let's say a modest 10%, 1%, even a modest 1% of your sales and transactions. That adds up. Every time someone buys something on one of these shops here, they're going to take some amount because it costs money to keep the lights on, to keep the website on 24 hours a day and accessible by every country in the world, and keeping these graphics running and optimized and the database and the fulfillment center and everything. So if we go through one of these companies, we are going to save ourselves a lot of headaches, a lot of technical headaches, but we're going to pay for it, literally, in the commissions and such that these companies charge. Therefore, one of the reasons why you might want to become your own Amazon is because you'll keep more of your profits. The, the WordPress software will be free. The photography and such will be free. The social media and all of that. You will be paying for the server and, and your provider and other things like that, but the software will all be free. And you will also have to pay for the payment gateway. There's really no way around selling things without a middleman. You know, there's always going to be a middleman when it comes to money, except if you're really out on the street corner selling it directly to the consumer. When you're doing it online, there's always going to be a payment processor, and they're always going to charge some amount of money, 1% to 5% per transaction, or per month, or a flat rate. But there's always a middleman when it comes to money. If you do it all yourself, you will keep more of that money rather than going off to one of these companies, Squarespace, Weebly, Etsy, etc. <clears throat> and so be before we get ahead of ourselves and have this fully functional e-commerce sites with all its pluses and minuses, we need to talk about WordPress, setting up WordPress. So we're going to shift gears, we're going to take a break, our first break, and then when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll actually get started in doing something. Any questions before the break? Okay, so I'm going to turn the printer back on. It's 126. We'll be back at 136. What you want to do is make sure you've enrolled. That is, you took the sticker sheet and enrolled on the website. If you didn't see me, you also want to make sure you signed in on the pink sheet. Let's be back at 136.